Mommy. Hi. Mommy. Mommy, what's wrong? Mommy, can you hear me? Hello, Ada. Ada, can you hear me? Ada, where are you? Yes, please, I need you to help me get those drugs for mommy. Please, please. She's shaking. Mommy. Mommy, mommy, just be patient. Ada is coming with the drugs. Mommy, just be patient. Ada is coming with the drugs, please. Hey, 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 guys, stop it. Stop it. What's going on here? Must I come home every day to this? It's Jolly's fault. She's she's always picking on me. Liar, you started, you broke my toe. Enough! And you, Shedrak, what are you doing? Why didn't you do anything to stop them? Oh, sorry, Dad. I guess I should have taken the role of a referee. Young man, you need to grow up and start acting responsibly. You're supposed to prevent this from happening. Maybe. If you show an example, I might just learn a thing or two. What did you just say to me? It's my first stop, stop that! Oh yeah, upstairs. Go upstairs now. Upstairs! I don't want to hear a word from you guys. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. No, Dad. She. She's resting. Oh, thank God. That's good news. She'll be fine. You just need to make sure she takes her drugs. And even that thing will be okay. Yeah. Like, I have a choice. <laughs> Adama, I just want to thank you for always being there for my mom and I. You're like an angel sent from God. And I don't take all these things that you do for granted. I've never had a friend like you. It's okay, it's okay. Your mom is like a mom to me. We are more than friends. You're like my sister, so technically your mom is my mom. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And I promise once I start working and making money, I am going to pay you back every single naira that I've borrowed you to treat my mom. Mm. Thank you again for securing the job for me at your office. Oh. Uh, that is actually the reason why I'm here. The management gave the job to someone else. They gave the job to someone or so. So I've lost the job. Oh. Oh. So is that bad? No. That I can't even secure a job as an office assistant. Atama, I graduated with a 2.1 GPA in economics. And I can't even secure a job as an office assistant. It's official. My life is cursed. No, 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 no. Please don't say that. Then what should I say? What should I say? God is good. This is God's plan. Could this really be God's plan for me? 
Now I can't even work and I'm paying you back all the money that you've been borrowing me to treat my mom. What kind of life is this? Please don't stress yourself about paying back for now. All that matters is for your mom to get back on her feet. That is what is important right now, okay? You still don't get it. I can't be asking you for money all the time. That is not how a friendship should work. I, on, I've been through these things before. I had so many friends, but where are they now? They're all gone. Because I was practically choking them and begging them for money all the time. Nobody wants that. I am not like others. And I'm not giving up on you. Not now, not ever. You will get a job. I promise you will get a job and let me brighten up your day, okay? I have sent your CV to some of my contacts and some recruitment agencies. Say the elder brother. Elder brother, my friend, I'm not doing the dishes. And I'm not cleaning the table either. So if you don't do it, will you? You can do it. This hey. is not over yet. Of course it's not. Hey, hey. Is it not too early for this drama? Huh? I have an important information to share. I just got off the phone with Andrew. And there's a business trip coming up which means I'll be away for a month. So, the, we'll get the house to ourselves. No rules or adult supervision. No babysitters. Although I've decided not to take you to grandma's house this time. So we get to stay home. We don't have to go to old grandma's house. No nannies. Well, I've decided to hire a nanny to look after you while I'm gone. And I'll ask strangers to boss us around. Dad, we can take care of ourselves. We need nannies. Guys, 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 I've made my decision. I'll be around for a couple of days before my trip to make sure the nanny is a good fit. You never listen to us. We need nannies. Dad, yeah. nannies are never a good fit. I understand, but I've made my decision. You never listen to us. No, no, I'm going to be around to make sure that the nanny is a good fit before I travel. So we're good? Hmm? Yeah. Good. We just cleared the table. After you're done eating. And Mabel, you will do the dishes. Says who? Says the elder brother. Elder brother, my I'm not doing the dishes. And I'm not cleaning the table either. If you don't do it, who will? You. Why can't you do it? This is not over yet. Of course it's not. Here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, tell me what exactly it is that you said you have to tell me that is so important. Mm. Okay. I got your job. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. I'm waiting for the rest of it. I got your job. Or is this, isn't there more? More like what? Like I got you a job, but someone else has taken it or they've given it to someone else. I don't know. When do you become so pessimistic? Uh-uh, babe, come on. It's not the first time this has happened. It's not the second time. I'm just getting used to it. You cannot be disappointed when you're not expecting anything. More. Fina, you need to have a positive mindset. I got you a job and that is it. Okay, so did you get me a job or you got me an interview? A job, Fina. And it is up to you to take it or not. A job, job. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Thank okay you. To your bed. <laughs> I, I'm just excited now. Um, you, you, you choked me to death. Now, how are you going to get the details that you need? Whew, okay, okay. So tell me about it. Well, this is the contact of the man that needs your service. Needs my service, how? Um, okay, his name is Noah, mm -hmm. Noah Maduka. Mm -hmm. He needs a nanny to take care of his kids. 
kids or kid? Kids, Fina. Three of them, a boy and two girls. Um, it's going to be a full-time job. And let me also add, he's a single father. Single father with three kids. I'm sure this guy probably had each of these kids with separate mothers. Now mm. he's bringing them all to live together. And the poor children are the ones that will suffer it. Men. Is pain. What? Are you done? Yes, I'm done. <laughs> For your information, those three kids are from the same mother. And before you go ranting out about the whereabouts of the wife, I need to tell you something. Mm -hmm. It is none of your business, okay? You got a job. You go do your job, period. I understand, and that's exactly what I'll do. Yeah, you should. Well, you have his contact, and you should contact him this evening to finalize everything. And the agent said it's been extremely difficult for him to keep a nanny this for a long time. Well, why? This is your job, so you find out. Let me get my phone and call him. Is anyone home? Oh, hi. Uh, my name is Fina, and I'm the one that's going to be. We know who you are. Jesus. What was that for? It just water. Stop being so dramatic. I'm being dramatic. You just splashed water on me for nothing. It's too early to complain. The nanny before you was there for just two days. She was the fastest to quit. You don't want to break that record, do you? Two days? How many... How many nannies have you had? Seven. Eight! It's seven and not eight. It's eight, not seven, stupid. And how is he eight? But Mommy Rose came twice. But Mommy Rose is one person. Can you both stop arguing, please? We weren't talking, talking to you. you. What was that? Broken glass. If you're here long enough, you get used to it. It might be cup or plate. You should go clean the mess up. I should. Please, where's your mother or your father? Hold on. Thank you so much, my child. <sighs> That's good. So, how was your first day at work? Huh. Mommy, those children are terrible. They have no discipline or, or manners whatsoever. <sighs> this must have been tough for you. That's a very challenging first day at work. But I know kids can be quite unique. It just needs some time to adapt and warm up to you. Warm up? M Mommy, you haven't met these kids. They're not warming up to me anytime soon. I am the seventh or eighth nanny they've had this year. Just this year. The last person quits in less than two days. And I'm even trying to beat that record because... Uh, I don't think I can stay there. I, I, no, I can't. No. That's tough. What about their father? I don't know. He, when he came back, he acted like everything was normal. Do you know that 
Just today, with all my struggle, they broke three glass cups, two breakable plates, and... and uh, mommy, those children are chaotic. They can drive somebody crazy, and, and I, I, I don't think I can stay there. I can't stay there. It's not that I don't think. I can't do it, Mommy. My child. I know you can. I know you can do it. You're strong, resilient, and caring. If those children need someone to put them on a check and make them live responsibly, it has to be someone like you. It might take a while, but I'm sure you make a difference in their lives. I guess I can try. But if nothing changes in the next couple of days, Quito, I, oh, mommy, those children are something else. I'm sure it will be better. Thank you for always believing in me. <laughs> My child, mm -hmm. I know you can do this. Always remember patience and understanding. Besides, kids will always be kids. Huh. Mommy, I don't think me, I was even like this when I was a kid. Yeah. Those children are something else. Uh -huh. Did you just say that? Do you want some history class? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. <laughs> We're just having fun. Fun? That wasn't funny. I did a good one as the act like the others. Young lady, I thought you would be apologizing because what you did was wrong. You work for us. Huh? No, I work for your father. I'm here to take care of you, not to be disrespected. Why should I apologize to you? You're just a nanny. All right, she becomes to like the others. I am angry. Well, what would you like to eat? Chicken and chips. Well, who here can make chicken and chips? I thought that was a job. Actually, that's not in my job description. I'm actually just meant to take care of the three of you. I'm not obliged to do that. Understand? What will oblige me? To make someone legally or morally bound to do something. So, am I bound to apologize for what I did earlier? Morally, yes, you are. And you? Are you ready to follow me to the kitchen so we can make your chicken and chips? But I can't cook. Well, I know you're young, but I can teach you a few tricks in the kitchen. You should always pray before you eat. But we are hungry. Well, prayer is just going to take a few seconds. But you don't know how to pray. Nobody prays in this house. Don't worry. I'll teach you how to pray. Hold each other's hands. Like this. Exactly. Now close your eyes. Don't open them all. Dear Lord, we thank you for this meal. We pray that it shall nourish our system in Jesus' name. Amen. That was fast. Guys, you always have to say amen immediately after a prayer, okay? Okay. okay. Amen? amen? Amen. So go ahead and eat. You like? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
So do you need to see me? Yes. Please sit. I am sure that you weren't expecting anyone to find this. Give me back. How did you find this? I've been tripped over my things. Mabel, it seems like you're struggling with your studies. Give me back. It's none of your business. Calm down. Okay? I'm on your side. Now, can we talk about this? Okay. I'm terrible at school, Fina. I just say I'm slow at understanding new things. Well, you don't have to listen to what your teacher is saying. I, for one, think you are very, very smart. You just have to channel all that smartness into your studies. What if I can't? What if I'm not smart enough? Of course you're smart enough. I know you can do it. All you have to do is take your studies seriously. And if you let me, I can help you. Are you going to do that for me? Of course I'm going to do that for you. I want to see you getting first, second and third in your class. I want to see you succeed in your studies. All right? And I promise to be patient and make this a fun experience for you. Thank you, Phil. How was work today and how are the kids behaving now? Work was fine and the kids are getting better. <laughs> hmm. That's good to know. I'm glad you were patient enough to stay. Me too. They are finally starting to warm up to me like you said. Mm. Especially Mabel. She's my favorite now. Mabel. That should be the last one. No, she's the second child, but the first daughter. Hmm. I know all of them will come around. And their dad is not back yet. No, he's not. Is there a problem? I haven't been able to secure another job. And once their father gets back from Potakot, my work there is practically done. Just be hopeful. The good Lord will never abandon his mom. Well, I pray he doesn't abandon me because these bills, they don't abandon me either. So... And the good Lord will not stop providing.
Well, I have to. My mom is alone and I can't leave her to care for herself. Just bring her here. We have two extra rooms. You and your mom can stay. I'll talk to her dad about it. Guys, I really appreciate how much you care and you want me around. But there's something called boundaries and I am not going to cross it, okay? Okay. So I will come very early tomorrow morning, very all right? Very early? Yes, very early. All right? All right. See you. Bye. Bye. He's been back for three days now, and he still hasn't asked me to stop working. Let's just hope for the best. Okay? I am. I'm just also expecting the worst. He might even ask you to stay, considering how well you've done with the kids. Yeah. Maybe or maybe not. I just want a job that is secure and is guaranteed. You need to have a positive mindset. Yes. I see the amazing job you're doing with the kids and I must say that I'm short of words to tell you how much I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad I'm making a difference. Yeah. When their mom left, I knew that it was going to be hard to raise these kids, but... Well, sir, that's, a, um, that's an unfair generalization. Oh, I'm sorry, I... I take that back. It's just that my wife was never content with anything. And it's not like we were in a bad place financially. She just wanted more and she wanted it to happen quickly. And that's not how life works. Well, maybe it was just about communication. If you had sat her down and spoken to her about your dreams, she could have understood and today you'd probably be together. We had dreams. We had big dreams. But I guess it was taking time to happen and she had unrealistic expectations. Oh. Well, I I wish she could see the man that you've become today. <laughs> Unfortunately she can. Why not? She died. She died two years ago from a drug overdose with her partner. The same guy she ran off with. I'm so sorry. That must have been hard. Yeah. Actions have consequences. Life goes on. And the kids, how did they take it? Yeah, they were so young and we had them at such a young age. I mean, Shadrach was five, Mabel was three, and Rejoice was just a year and some months old when all of this happened. This is a... This is really a story of resilience and determination. Yeah. And that's my story. I'm sure you have yours. something wrong or is there something you're not telling me what are you trying to say you've just been acting off like there's something bothering you and i think that if you really see me as a friend maybe you should share it with me it, it's okay there's there's nothing wrong i'm fine okay you are definitely not fine every time you use those two phrases in a sentence there is certainly something wrong can can we just drop this mama is waiting for you Mama is fine. You are clearly not fine. 
And I'm not going to stop bothering you till you tell me this. I actually do not want you to see this, but my emotions keep getting the better part of me. Here. Two days ago. It's okay. You see the reason I didn't want to show you this? You, you shouldn't be so surprised. You already had your suspicions now. I know I did, but I hoped I'd be wrong. It is what it is. We just have to move on, okay? I'm just going to move on just like that after I've invested so much in this relationship. And all of a sudden, I'm not good enough for marriage. I mean, I know, I know it hurts, okay? But you just have to let go. It is nothing. Just let go. When people told me men was gone, no, no, I should have listened. No, 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 no. You shouldn't say that. I am that. never going to love again. Love is such a big scam, and it's only for fools. You shouldn't say that, okay? You shouldn't say that. And also, you should learn how to talk when you're mad, okay? I understand what you're going through, but it's not worth it. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay, okay? Hi, um, do you have a minute? Yes, sir. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, no, no, no. Please, sit. You know, I've been meaning to have this conversation with you, but the kids are always around. Still, I'd like to get the issue off my chest. What issue is that, sir? Why? Are you doing this job? I mean, like, why did you decide to become a nanny? Well, I didn't decide to become a nanny. I just, I found myself in a situation where I had no choice. Yeah, you're right. Life can be very unpredictable. It wasn't always a bed of roses for me. But hey, that's a conversation for another day. I understand, sir. Yeah. Everyone has a story to tell. Mm -hmm. Look, Finna, I, I see everything that you're doing for the kids, and I just want to say thank you. You're such an amazing person, and I can't thank you enough for what you're doing. So, thank you. Of course. I'm, um, I'm happy that I'm able to make a positive impact in their lives. Your kids are amazing, stubborn sometimes, <laughs> yeah. but they've taught me patience, perseverance, and really just looking beyond people's flaws. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I, I just wanted to appreciate you and say thank you. Of course, sir. Yeah. Is there anything, can I get you something to drink? No, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine, thanks. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll just be in the kitchen. Yes, of course. Welcome to my home. Oh. <laughs> not quite bad. Do not as elegant as I expected it to be. <laughs> well, 
now that you're here, mm -hmm. we can make it better, of right? Of course we will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, me, let me call the kids. Uh, Shadrach, Mabel, Fina, could you bring them downstairs? Sure. Guys, come and say hello. <laughs> I mentioned that you look very stunning today. <laughs> Uh, Lorette, these are my kids. That's Shadrach, mm -hmm. and that is Mabel. And this is Rejoice, the baby of the house. And the beautiful lady over there is Fina, their nanny. <laughs> Hello, Ma. Welcome. It's so nice to finally meet you. Hello, kids. My name is Loretta. Your dad's fiancé and soon to be stepmom. <laughs> Right, 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 right. You must be very exhausted, right? Yeah, baby. Yeah, you know what? Let me show you to your room, okay? Look. Yeah, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. This is so nice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you okay? How was the trip here? Isn't she so nice and friendly? She didn't seem nice to me. She didn't even acknowledge Fina. She's so proud. Then we can't like, like her. She was snubbing at you. And she's like a gold digger to me. Guys, gold digger, calm down. Look, there's something called being jet lagged. Okay, maybe she's just tired. That's not true. She's the same dude. <sighs> Look. I, for one, think she's a very nice and lovely person. And we're going to give her time and warm up to her, okay? And you, let us go and do the dishes together. I wash, you rinse. You want, you want to come too? Okay, come. It's obvious that those kids do not like me. And I'm sure it's that stupid nanny that it's influencing them. Can you just relax, please? It's too early for this drama. I'm dramatic. I'm being dramatic, Noah. You saw what happened downstairs. It was so embarrassing. Those kids did not say a word to me. But you didn't say a word to the nanny either. She welcomed you and you completely ignored her. She, she's just a nanny, obviously a nobody. I don't like proud people and you know this. Being proud and being confident are two different things and you of all people should know that. Please sit down. Like she cut the hair. Why did she cut the hair? Because of what? It was me. Good evening, ma. What are you preparing for dinner? I'm making okra soup and eba. For Christ's sake, eba is cab and the end product is starch. It's fattening! Wait, what's your plan? You want to get me bloated? That's just what's on the roaster for tonight. What stupid roaster are you talking about? No, I'll be using for breakfast. Sorry, what's your name again? Why? Don't mean to report to To Joyce! Fina. Apologize immediately. <laughs> sorry. Rejoice. What? I'm sorry. <sighs> She's sorry. Listen, and listen to me very attentively. I will not let you or anyone in this house look down on me. That is a promise. Get done with this. I still eat her. It's still early, okay? You need to get to know her properly. And don't say things like that to her. You're going to report her to your dad.
That was very mean and irresponsible. That was the dumbest prank ever. We did not mean any harm, Dad. We were just fooling around. Fooling around? You all crossed the line. Actions have consequences. We are sorry, Dad. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to her. Again. Yes, sir, Loretta. You know, I'm still trying to understand why you did that. Guess what? You guys are going to do all the chores in this house for one week. That means that Fina will come to work. Dad! Dad, do what you want, but please allow Fina to come to the house. Please, Daddy. Guys. You need to understand that actions have consequences. Always remember that. Okay? Upstairs, now. So that's it. What? That is just it. What are you talking about? The only punishment he gave the student is Fina not coming to work for a week. I guess you missed the part where I told them they'll be doing the chores in this house for a week. And so, kids do chores, so we start even a punishment. What do you want me to do? Send them to jail? Or you want me to disown them? Stop being petty, Noah. These kids need to know that for every action taken there is a consequence. And what you did just here changes nothing. Okay. What would you have done differently? Fire Fina. What? See, Noah, the only thing these kids seem to think or care about is Fina. And trust me, it's not healthy for you, it's not healthy for me, it's not healthy for them! Listen to me. Kids have the purest minds ever. They're like a mirror. What you show them is what you get. Really? Respect them and they'll give you the same thing. Show them love, they'll give you the same thing. It's that simple. <laughs> some movie tickets and I was thinking we could go see a movie this weekend. We already have plans for the weekend. We plan to spend it at Swinna's place this weekend. Uh, but I thought we're going out together as a family would be the perfect plan for the weekend. That is the thing that we put in that plan. Mabel darling, Fina is not family. She's more family than you are. I am engaged to your dad, and we'll soon be getting married. On to then. That is going to be the most happiest day of our lives. Rejoice, darling. Would you want to be my ring bearer? I think I don't need this much. <laughs> So, what do you both say? Cinema or Fina's house? We'll go to Fina's house. How about you, darling? Oh, uh, go to Fina's house. Sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Hey, what's 
going on? You haven't said a word to me since I got back. I don't like this silent treatment. And it'll get worse if you don't take a stance. What stance? And between who or what? Between me and the nanny. What? Lily, you two have different roles. I don't understand this competition. I am not competing with anybody. I only see a clear manipulation and it breaks me that you're not seeing it or you either choose to ignore it. Lily, I have told you that you can't win these kids over by showing them you don't like Fina. Fina is the most important person in their lives. Okay, just be nice to them. I'm, I'm sure they'll warm up to you. I did. I did. Listen, I got us five movie tickets for us to go see a movie during the weekend. And they turned down my invite. Guess what they told me? What? We already have plans for the weekend. They plan going to Phoenix Place for the weekend. Yeah, they told me, but I haven't given them permission yet. Well, that's good. Then you shouldn't. Why not? So we will all go see the movie as a family. Then get Fina an extra ticket. She's family too. That girl is just a nanny. She should know her place and you should create boundaries. And you should learn to do better. And then I told the girl, I said, only one person can't play the game. You have to be like two or... Th but I promise we will, the three of us or the four of us... Will hey, guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are you guys preparing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Oh, it's a surprise? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, honey, can you give me a second? I need to speak with Fina, okay? Okay, hi. Mm -hmm. Is there any issue, sir? Uh, no, no problem at all. Just want to commend you on coping with the kids and handling the situation. Well done. Thank you, sir. I must say, hearing you say these words, it <laughs> encourages me and makes me want to do better. Mm. Okay. I have something for you. What is this? An iPhone? Mm hmm I've never had an iPhone before. Now you do. I I'm sorry, sir. I, I can't take this. Mm -hmm. It's too much. What? I insist. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, thank you so much. You're welcome. Nick, like it's nothing compared to what you're doing here. Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> you can go back to your cooking. All right? Okay. Yeah, please. Go back to what you were doing. All right, sir. Yeah. And thank you. for giving that to me my phone. You're welcome. Come here. See you later, okay? Bye. Fine. I only granted their wish. They wanted to spend the weekend with their nanny, and I don't see anything wrong with that. Oh, and let this be the last time 
you addressed that innocent girl as a nobody. I was once like her, and anytime you use such derogatory words, it gets to me. I used the word. I used the word Noah. You know, it's a good thing you stepped up. Do you think the world really cares about the story and the struggles of a broke man? You are either rich or you're sorry. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Nobody could have said it better mm. than a gold digger. Hey, what did you just call me? Did I stutter? Did you just call me a gold digger? Oh, honey, I addressed you by your title. Is there a problem? <laughs> huh? Take that word back. You know what? Go upstairs right now, pack your things, and get out of my house. I beg your pardon. 30 minutes, else you'll find your things on the street. <gasps> you're joking, right? <laughs> Listen, Noah, you're going to regret this. You're going to regret this. You will regret everything. <laughs> Yes, come in. Please sit. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, you asked me to come see you first thing in the morning. Yes, I did. How's your mom? She's fine, sir. I mean her health. How is she? How... How did you know there was anything wrong with her health? I saw a prayer request in Mabel's journal asking God to heal your mom. Mabel wrote that. How do you think I found out? What's the nature of her illness? She is hypertensive. She has been for a few years now. I'm so sorry about that. And how have you been coping with the treatment? Well, I have been doing the best I can. But I can't lie with the way the economy has been recently. Everything from the checkups to the cost of medication, it's all felt 
so overwhelming. Then why didn't you mention it to me? I wouldn't want to bother you with my problems, sir. Come on, Fina. We're family. I can't just stand by and watch you suffer. We need to take your mom to a specialist hospital so she can be treated. I, I don't know what to say, sir. Th thank you so much. I wasn't expecting this. You take care of my family. The least I can do is support you in any way that I can. Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, just give me a second to change so we can go pick her up and take her to the hospital. Now? Yeah, I should have done this like yesterday. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Not as beautiful as you are. What do you want from me? I don't know, but what I do know for sure is that I'm in love with you. People like you don't get to fall in love with people from my class. You can't love me. Who told you that? I don't do class. Look, I'm just not sure that I can do this. Fina, if there's anyone in this world that can do absolutely anything, that person is you. And what about your fiance? <laughs> There's a reason she's not the one I'm talking to. And the kids? They'll be more than happy to see us together. You know what? I'm just scared. And I don't know if... There's nothing to be scared about. Okay? We'll figure this out together. <laughs> and I was telling her, I said, if you can't tell someone how you feel face to face, then what are you doing there in the first place? I think, okay, wait, wait, you know. Your boss is such a hearty. You know, it still baffles me to think that you got me a job with someone that you have no idea what he looks like. How? Okay, okay. Well, a friend told me about a man with three kids that needed a nanny, and, and that was it. Well, at least I got the job. I don't know how it happened, but I'm thankful. Okay, okay, let's drop that. <laughs> what is going on between the both of you? What's going on how? Which one is what is going on how? You and your boss. I saw the way he looked at you. I think he likes you. <laughs> Babe, you are either imagining this or you're just overthinking. He's just a nice person, that's it. I know what I saw and this is far from me overthinking things. Like I said, I saw the way he looked at you. The tone of his voice when he spoke to you. And he's even paying your mom's medical bills. This is beyond just being a nice guy. And if you ask me, I think he has feelings for you. Well, you're right. He has been attentive and caring, but I beg, I don't want to think too much into it. Do you understand? Mm -mm. I know, but I don't know why my instinct keeps telling me that your boss genuinely likes you. He does. So? Well, even if he does, because I honestly don't know. Thank God he hasn't brought it up. Because that's the last thing on my mind, okay? I haven't even finished getting over Kachi. Oh. This is the last thing that I... Kachi. 
Kashi is your past and that is where it belongs. You should look ahead into the future. I'm not saying it should be your boss, but you have to keep moving, okay? You have to keep moving on and stop letting past experience tie you down. How about now? How do you always know the right things to say? Tell me how. I don't know. <laughs> I just say rubbish and it actually comes out pretty nice. <laughs> You are a genius. I know, I know, right? And a clown. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just hey. You look absolutely stunning. No one might not even recognize you when he sees you. <laughs> Thank you. I You're just, welcome. I hope I look good enough to fit into his class today. Good enough? Girl, you look, you look like a goddess. <laughs> no one will be speechless. I guarantee it. And who knows? He might even propose. Uh-uh. Calm down, it's too early. We've just been dating for a few weeks. Boy, you've known him for like a few months now, right? Yes, but it was different then. Oh, love has a way of, you know, surprising us. I'm just saying, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, I just want to enjoy tonight. But I know that you're always wishing me well. And I appreciate you. You're welcome. You know I have your interests at heart, okay? Always. So can you please give me talk? This? Oh my god, oh my god. You certainly have what will make heads turn tonight. <laughs> Hello? Okay, yes, I'm coming outside. Is it Noah? <laughs> yes, he's outside. So that's your cue to leave. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, just, just know that Noah is one lucky man to have you. Okay? And enjoy yourself. Just be yourself. Don't be intimidated. Just be yourself, okay? I love you. And I love you too, Adama. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Bye, 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 bye. bye. <sighs> there you are. <laughs> To the most amazing woman I have ever met. Mm. I love you, baby. I love you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have plans for you today, baby. Mm. Tell me about it. We need to tell the kids. They have to be the first to know. I know, it's just, I'm, I'm just a little nervous about it. Nervous? Baby, you're not the type to have a cold feet. I know, but... Baby, shh, you're going to be fine. Okay? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, you need help here? You want me to do anything for you? Guys? Trina and I have an important announcement to make. Is it about the family vacation this year? <laughs> have we decided on the location this year? I think that's about the change our schools. Again? I think that's about to tell us that he and Fina are getting married. Smart girl, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Fina and I are actually getting married. I told you, didn't I? I hate to admit it, but you're right. Finally, let us Fina getting married. Congratulations to the both of you. And I would like to say that I would honor to be part of your bridesmaid. And I would like to say that I think that you're going to be the best stepmom ever. Oh, 
of course you can be part of my bridesmaids. <laughs> I am so thankful to you kids and beyond grateful to be marrying into such a beautiful family. My only prayer is that we continue to be this big happy family all the time. Mm. I love Mr. Tom. Can I be a real prayer? Of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm a lucky man. I think I'm the luckiest man on earth. And I promise that I'm going to love and take care of you with all of my heart. So it's true. Nani and fiance. No one really upgraded. It's wonderful to see you too, Loretta. And before you start anything, please remember that we have kids upstairs. So let's just try to maintain a form of civilization and decency. Coming from you? <laughs> That's quite laughable, you know. I doubt if you even know the meaning of that word, decency. Loretta, what are you doing here? I wouldn't be here even for something important. Which is? The deal with the road construction company, the one our companies did a joint bid for, has been approved and we have to get to work real fast. That is great news. So, what's the next line of action? Yeah, coming to that, we have to see the contractors as soon as possible. So. Okay. Fix a meeting and get back to me. That works. Noor. You know, we could have made a perfect couple, right? I believe we're done with business here. I'm not done. No, I am not done because I need an explanation to this. How could you replace me with her? Your children's nanny. She's just classless, Noah. Um, what's your name? Loretta. Um, what's that your name again? Loretta. I've moved on. You need to move on too, okay? You call this, you call this thin moving on? You think I once wore your ring? It's a shame, Noah. I feel, I feel terribly sorry for you. I do. Yeah. Look, you don't need to feel sorry for me. It's my sorry, okay? Please, leave. When you have a date, let me know. It's just very bitter. It's okay. Why are you apologizing? It's Loretta. And none of it surprised me. Right. Mm -hmm. Still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. And thank you for understanding. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello? Hello, Pina. So it's true. You're, you're with Noah. Noah? He's mine. This is to show you that I can always have him if I want to. You can't handle him. And it's not in your league. But, but we're engaged. said a word since you returned. Mommy, I'm fine. You are not fine. You can't be fine when you, when you barely said anything. You need to talk to me and your mother. Fina, what is wrong with you? What is the problem? Did, did you and Noah get into a fight? Don't ever mention that name in this house again. Oh, so this is our Noah. What did he do? Never again. But I, 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 I stupidly allowed another person use me. Again! Fee, Fee, you don't have to blame yourself on every mistake, okay? But it's not their mistake. It's my mistake. There's a saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Because maybe Kachi wasn't my fault. But this time, I, I was naive enough to allow myself into that situation. So I blame myself completely. Do you even know what bothers me most? Why does he have to propose if he hasn't gotten over his ex? I've asked myself that same question so many times. I know what answer I come up with. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All I can say at this point is... For all I care, he could be with his ex or whoever it is he wants to be with. I know your heart, okay? Because you still love him. Yeah. But you see this love thing. I don't do it again. I, I, I don't think I'm cut out for this madness. How many times does someone have to experience this before you eventually find your person? I can't. 
the room. We all need love at some point. And we all need someone that will cook our own, okay? For you, we can. Maybe you do. But as for me, Adama, I am done. It's okay, just trust me. It's going to be alright. Sorry, but Fina doesn't want to listen to anything I have to say. What you did really hurt her dad, but we need to do something about this. Dad, what if we go see Fina ourselves? Hmm. You're right. Yeah. She'll listen to you guys. We are yet to talk about our dad. Fina, we know what daddy does wrong. I'm supported by his action. He made a terrible mistake and he's truly sorry. We really love our dad and we want a happy family again. This will never happen if we leave. Hey, guys. I want you to know that despite everything happening, I still love your father so much. It's just that I don't know that I can move past and pretend like what he did never happened. Fina, can you please forgive our dad? You are the best mom we have ever had. The house will be empty without you. Guys, I want you to know that despite what your father did, I still love him. And because of how much I love you, I promise I will think about it. Okay? So that means you forgive me, Dad. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I will think about it. Alright? Okay. It means you, Fina. Please come back to the house. And I miss you guys so much. And I miss you guys so much. I miss you, Fina. <laughs> I miss this good house. <laughs> what did you guys get before coming? Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets? Oh, do you want spaghetti bolognese? Because I can make it. Hmm. You sure? Yeah. yeah. You're missing the kids, right? I feel like I'm hurting them. I feel you're hurting yourself. How? Deep down, you want to forgive him, but you keep fighting the feeling because you think forgiveness will make you weak. But on the contrary, my child, forgiveness makes us strong. Because it takes a stronger person to forgive. So what are you trying to say, mommy? Nothing. Just do the right thing, my child. Do I think? 
Good night. I'll be in my room. Just sit. I just need a moment with your father. I'm sorry. I can't begin to tell you how sorry I am. I know that I hurt you and there is no excuse for my action. She drugged me and took those pictures. I, I should have known better. I, I don't even know what to believe. But I do know that Loretta is crazy and capable of this type of stuff. But Noah, I thought what we had was special. I thought it was unbreakable and able to withstand any form of temptation. It is. I'm sorry for being so irresponsible. And I promise you that it will never happen again. When I saw those pictures, I was hurt. But I also see the, the genuine look in your eyes and I remember the love that we shared. But it's going to take a lot of time and effort from the both of us to be able to rebuild our trust. I'm ready. I'm ready to do whatever it takes because I love you. I love you so much, Fina. I love you too. If I told you that you have the best smile in the world. <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> Still, I guess, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are you guys still doing here? Huh? There's TV upstairs in the room. Come hug him. Um, come give Finn a hug so we can go watch TV upstairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay, that's, that's enough. Yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'll see you guys uh, in a bit. <laughs>